In this video, we are going to look into groupwise correlation analysis. In the previous video, we did discuss what is correlation, how to run correlation, how to interpret it, and how to report it. Now, there may be a situation when you need to compare the correlation coefficient between two groups. For instance, we may need to compare how the correlation between two variables differs between male and female respondents. Now, in order to do this, let's go to our data. Now, the first thing is I want to compare the correlation between summer leadership and self-efficacy between male and female respondents. I want to know whether the correlation was same between the two groups or whether it was different or if it was different was it significantly different now in order to do this the first step is that we have to do is we have to split the file now we want to compare based on gender so we select gender and we want to compare the groups so we press this arrow we don't need to do anything else we just press ok now uh, split by gender now in order to run the analysis you go to analyze you go to correlate and bivariate now we are only interested in servant leadership and self-efficacy we want Pearson correlation let it be two-tailed flag in significant uh, flag a significant correlation and we press ok now if we see here we've got correlation of SL with SE in male respondents and then we've got correlation of SL with SE in female respondents. Now if you look here the correlation was significant in male respondents but in female respondents it was insignificant. It was moderately positive in male but it was very weak and insignificant in female. Now we know that there is a significant difference now between the correlation in male and females but we want to do it statistically now in order to do this let's go back while you now know how to find correlation coefficient in each of the groups but still we do not know if the difference in the relationship between these groups is significant now unfortunately SPSS will not do this step for us so we have to do it manually now in order to do this first we have to convert the R values that is the correlation coefficient into Z score and then we use an equation to calculate the observed value of Z or Z score that is Z OBS value. The value obtained will be assessed using a set decision rule to determine the likelihood that the difference in the correlation noted between the two groups could have been due to a chance or in simple terms whether or not the difference is significant or not. Now in order to do this the first step is we need the correlation now what I've done is I've already put in the values the R for males was 608 while the N value was 166 the R for females was 104 while the N value was 55 that is the sample size in each group now how do you convert this R score into Z score it's very easy we, we are going to use Fisher R to Z transformation in Excel so just simply press is equal to type Fisher and select the top value and here you mention the value so the correlation for males was 0.608 you close the parenthetical bracket you press enter and now the value is or the z-score value is 0 0.705 here it is 0 0.705 now this, do the same for females as well so once you have these two values what you are going to do is you're going to put it in this formula the equation is provided below put the respective values in the equation and make the necessary calculation so Z observed score is actually Z1 minus Z2 so group 1 minus group 2 the end score for or the number of respondents for group 1 and the number of respondents for group 2 so what I've done is I've already added these values so 166 is the end for group 1 male and 55 for group 2 now if you you subtract you get 0 0.601 163 152 divide these values and then add them 
take the square root of 0 0.025 you get 0.158 divide and then what you get is the z observed score in this case is 3.803 now how do you interpret it it's very simple if your z score is between these two values minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 your p-value will be larger than 0 0.05 which means insignificant and you cannot reject the null hypothesis but in this case we reject the null hypothesis because the value is greater than 1.96 and in this case we interpret that the correlation coefficient is significantly different or the correlation of servant leadership with self-efficacy is significantly different between male and female respondents so this is how you can use correlation coefficient between two groups and calculate the significance of a difference i hope the video would have helped you understand group wise correlation analysis thank you very much